I have a quote that I thought could start off our conversation, our very serious conversation because we're very serious people. <clears throat> I found it while I was like, I basically just Googled like crying at work because I wanted to see what the internet had to say about it. And I found this quote and it's Dr. Sandy Mann. And she says, the effort it takes to fake or hide emotions can be compared to physical labor. It causes huge mental stress. It can make you lose your sense of identity as if your employer owns your emotions. And that's the episode. We should we all quit our jobs so we don't lose our sense of soul. <laughs> that's my takeaway. <laughs> okay. <yeah. laughs> Stephanie's advice of the day. Just quit your job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh no. Okay. Maybe we'll, we'll circle back to that point. Okay. Yeah. We'll come back to how to quit your job without bursting into tears, which I haven't figured out yet. Um, I thought we could start with our personal experiences and then work outward because I did find some really interesting information, studies, surveys, you know, about, I just keep hitting my hand on this microphone. I am so sorry. Your hand has things to say, baby. Let it, let it be. Let it go. I just got to talk with my hands. Just hands. Anyway, I found a bunch of surveys and like studies about what people think about crying at work. So mm-hmm. we'll get there. Um, have you ever cried at work? Oh, Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And I'm sure there are people who like associate me with crying at work because they just walked in on you. No, I probably just do a lot. (laughs) Or I used to. (laughs) There was always something to be stressed out about to the point of tears. Like I'm not a big crier in general, Mm -hmm. but I guess like these tears are valuable. So they better be like financially compensated. So I got to do it at work, like in the office. So you're paid to cry? Yeah, that's like, I honestly think that I've, I have cried more at work than I have in like, maybe the apartment that I currently live in. That is so interesting. So you don't feel like you want to like be alone when you cry? No, I do. But I just feel like it all comes to a head while I'm in the office. (laughs) And I just like have to run to the bathroom. And like pretend like uh, I'm having an allergic reaction. <laughs> I've done that so many times when my eyes have been red. I'm like, yeah. oh, the pollen is like really bad. And you know what? Uh, People are always yeah. like, I feel that. Like my nose is so itchy. Like <laughs> we're all playing I've along. Rooms. Like I've. Wait, tell me about that. That's a good hack. Yeah. Well, I try not to do it because. Uh, especially the last two places that I've worked, there have been so few places to like take meetings. Um, But one time someone called me um, and they were really mean to me, but it was like a last minute thing. And so I was like, okay, well, I I had to book a conference room to talk to this person um, because I didn't really have any other options. And then they were mean to me to the point of me crying. And I was like, oh, we could use this in the future. That is so smart. If it's like 15 after and nobody was using the conference room anyway, you got 15 minutes to cry. Oh my gosh. That is such a good idea. The only thing is the people who like burst in and are like, we get the conference room next. And you're just like, <laughs> you know, it's like a timer. And so it's like two minutes before the half hour or like whatever. And then you'd like clean yourself up. And then you exit. Oh my gosh, that is so smart. Do you, when you have mm-hmm. cried at work, has it been a situation where you felt like you had a certain amount of time? Like, okay, I have a 10 minute break. I'm going to use it to cry. Or is it pretty spontaneous? It's usually pretty spontaneous. I can't yeah. plan it. Like I try not to cry at all costs, just like in my personal life. Yeah. So well, they're very could, valuable tears. Yeah, they, exactly. They're, they're really valuable tears worthwhile. They're company time tears. So if I could plan it, I would. 
I would love to just plan like, you know how on like 30 Rock where Jack Donaghy like just farts for like an hour at the top of the mountaintop? That's what I want with crying. <laughs> you would just get it done in, in one hour, the whole year's worth of crying. Yeah. That is actually, that would be such a time saver. Because be then you so could just cool. not wear mascara that day. You could just be like, where? Like I was wearing mascara to work anyway. <laughs> They don't pay me to do makeup on their time. So why am I going to wear makeup? I love these uh, boundaries. <laughs> it's just, um, I sleep in too much to do my makeup for work. Usually, or I That's did when we had an office. Taurus life though. Um, yeah, I was thinking about times I've cried at work and a lot of the jobs I had um, like for the first half of my life or whatever, they, I was either in a cubicle or I like was running around doing a lot of different tasks. So like no one could see me all the time. And then I feel like, I don't know when it happened, but all of a sudden like the shared workspace became cool and popular. And then everywhere I've been since then, it's like, I'm always facing someone. Yeah. Oh my God. You're like sitting on everyone's laps. <laughs> It's terrible. Yeah. They did not factor in crying to that system. I know. Or like, because like, I wish I could say, yeah, like in those open spaces, like I just let it go. Like I just let it cry. Like I'm not ashamed, but I am as much as I support crying and I'm all about like letting out your emotions and expressing yourself. I'm like, crying is cool, but definitely like stuff. I don't know stigmas and stuff like just yeah, it, it's also a really private thing mm-hmm, sometimes like, those are big emotions that yeah. and you know you have to explain yourself and that takes away from your time from crying because you're talking to somebody about it and <laughs> doesn't help anybody sure yeah, I, I definitely cried in cubicles and then we got rid of cubicles and I'm just like I've been shit out of luck ever since yeah Bring back cubicles, if not for the crying. Give everybody their own office. I don't want to talk to anybody ever again. Yeah. How do you feel that working from home has, like, improved the crying situation? Man, as much as I don't like crying at my own home, (laughs) it's been really nice to, like, factor that in. I'd be like, oh, I got to move this meeting because I need to cry for 45 minutes. So I'm just going to bump that one back or yeah. oh, you guys camera off. Um, there's, there's, there's construction. Yes. In my tear ducts. The camera off the construction in my tear ducts. Oh my God. You are full of it. Full of tears usually. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't want to be. I don't like it. Better out than in. <laughs> But yeah, the camera off thing has like been life-changing because for some reason it has a totally different vibe than just being on a phone call, right? It feels more present. It feels like you made more of an effort if you're on a Zoom call or Google, whatever, whatever, and you just have your camera off. So interesting. Like why? I don't know, man. What what is your, so when you are like crying in a work setting, do you go you run to the bathroom like where do you go where do you well, feel safe in the old days in ye old days before working on the internet um I usually would go to my car and be like I have 10 minutes before like basically a glorified bathroom uh break and uh or I would just a couple of times I would just cry in the cubicle because I was facing the wall like anyone who walked by just saw the back of my head and I literally was only caught one time and it, my boss was just like hey are you okay and I just said yeah <laughs> and then she left me alone you know it just it was like fine you did you, you didn't have a door but you did have privacy and um yeah. then in open spaces I would either go to the bathroom, but then I started running into other people in the bathroom were also crying in the bathroom. And that was like (laughs) kind of more upsetting. 
so then sometimes I'd like go for a walk with like a really specific goal in mind. Like I will get coffee and I have between the time I am in the office to getting the coffee to just like let all my emotions out. Oh, that's really smart. And then once I drink the coffee, that will cure me. Yeah. Yeah. That's smart. Yeah. And now though, like now that everything's here inside the internet officially, um, I mostly like the other day, actually, earlier this week, I recorded another episode. Um, and right before we were just talking about what we were going to talk about. And for some reason, it just hit a nerve and I cried right there and it was fine. It was fine. Like it actually was a little affirming because I was like, this person still respects me. Um, I showed that I (laughs) have feelings and they're big sometimes. And yeah, like I had a little bit of a lump in my throat for the rest of the recording, but it just was fine. It was fine. So maybe that is good for my identity or whatever, but what about you? Like, where do you hide? Like in the office or? Yeah. When you're in the office besides the, I mean, you said you go to the bathroom a lot. Yeah. I usually like go to the bathroom or like go for a walk, kind of like mm-hmm. what you were saying, but like, I didn't start driving to work until like my current job. Oh yeah. So I didn't like have the car until like a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. So that was always, fun. so it was usually like, I had to choose like a bathroom or something like that. Um, but I've worked in places where it's like, just like a business park. So you don't really have anywhere to walk or go to. Yeah. <laughs> well, like yeah. you're gonna, you know, you're gonna probably run into a coworker yeah. if you decide to do that. Um, or it's just like, it's not gonna be like a cathartic experience to, you know, walk to this other big corporation and start <laughs> crying. Um, so it's usually, yeah, it's usually the bathroom. I've definitely like, I worked one place in my early twenties where there's only one other woman who worked there. So it, the bathrooms were, you know, male, you know, you know yeah. how, they, how they're usually done. And so like, I didn't even like go to a stall because I was like, I don't care if the other woman sees me cry. <laughs> yes. I love that. That's a freedom. Yeah, it was really nice. And so like, there'd be a couple of times where she'd be like, You want to get coffee oh okay. like she's great she's great but sometimes you know it's like yeah he is a 22 year old man can't change <laughs> yeah. just work with what you got yeah like get another 22 year old man it's gonna be the same no you don't have to get into too many specifics because this is a lifestyle we're talking about but what kind of emotions or situations cause you to cry at work specifically at work specifically I feel like relationship shit always goes down during work hours and I don't know why oh my god that's so real it's like the most inappropriate time but yeah Yeah. always always during work hours where it's like somebody shoots you a text and they're like I just don't think this is gonna work or like talk later and it's like you could have waited until like 6 01 p.m that's so unfair that's like, really unfair. On. I don't That's like really, that. It's not nice. It's really not nice. And it's, it, that would be like the equivalent of breaking up with someone like during a math test. Hey, psst, psst, hey, I'm breaking up with you. <laughs> I'm fucking taking a math test. Do you know about decimals? Can we talk about that? Like, come on. That sucks. <laughs> I hate yeah. that. Oh my God. Oh my god, yeah, that happened a lot in my twenties. It was just like, mm-hmm. are these years not difficult enough? <laughs> um, and also just like the general pressures of a job, where like uh, being overextended is something that often makes me cry For or sure. like want to cry um, because I uh, want to do a good job and like I want I want to be able to handle everything that that's been handed to me and I'm expected to be able to take on and sometimes it's just not 
possible or doesn't feel possible in the moment. So if that's something that it's like will make me cry at work or like I take feedback really personally and I've gotten, you know, enough feedback that I'm just like, hmm, maybe I suck. Maybe I'm not a good employee after all. Which or, means I'm not a good person. <laughs> it's all tied to identity, especially like, I feel like most women in our age range and that kind of thing, and these are things that have been instilled in us. And it's, it's a hard habit to break to think of yourself that way. But I, I definitely do. Wait, uh, you can break that habit? Where did you hear this? Well, I said it was hard to break it. <laughs> but I didn't say anyone has. Okay. Well, if you hear of anyone doing that, can you like... Pick me up.